My name is Mike Archer, and as of a few days ago, I've been fire watching from my tower in the Wyoming woods. What I thought would be an easy five months to myself to help me focus on my writing has actually turned into something completely different. I've heard some strange things in the woods and over my radio, including creepy whispers and classical music. Are you sure you weren't dreaming? That's Amber. She's in Tower 3. I'm in Tower 4. She relays all my information to the ranger station since I'm too far out. She's a nice person, but she doesn't believe the things that I've heard. I wasn't dreaming, Amber. Well, I didn't hear anything last night. I slept like a toddler after a sugar crash. Well, something strange is happening out here. Like what? I don't know. Tower 4 is a new series by Seven Land Productions. This thriller follows a new fire watcher as he tries to uncover the mysteries of the Wyoming woods. But are there actually strange occurrences, or is he starting to go stir-crazy? Visit sevenlam.com or search for Tower 4 wherever you listen to podcasts. Welcome to another episode of Will There Be Cake? I am Amber Simpson here, as always, with the Robert of with the Lambs. The Robert of the Lambs, and we have a special guest today. It's rare nowadays with our tight, yeah, tight haven't, schedules. I haven't had one in a while. Adam Ivan is joining us again for hey, this hey. super exciting Thursday holiday. As Mace once said, "Welcome back." He didn't say that. I think Cotter said that. I don't even think Cotter said that, but somebody from Cotter said that. <laughs> Anyways, we are celebrating what? Happy Hour Day. Happy Hour Day. So what leave a- work early, bring your coworkers, and get trashed during happy hour. When is happy hour? Five, four to four to six. Four to six. Yeah. That's happy two hours. Yeah. Some people get out of work by then anyway. Yeah. Not me. That's usually when I go into work. Ah. Uh. Just have Night to get shifts. drunk before work. Yeah. Hey, that's fine. That's fine. There's it's slower nowadays, it's, right? It, there's a hurricane today, so um, I'll yeah. just get drunk at work. There, no one will come in. That's true. You <laughs> don't even know if you're going in. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I'm going in. <laughs> we are recording this during a bunch of storms right now. Yeah. So We've got hurricane coming through. R.I.P. Us. We may hurricane be stuck ETA. in this hot studio forever. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Florida! Yay! Estimated time of arrival. As now, as our rival Ada, right now. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, happy hour day. What is happy hour day? I mean, you explained it, but do it again. Do it again. <laughs> um, I, I explained it, okay. but I'll tell you where it came from. Okay. It actually started um, with the U.S. Navy back in 1914. Okay. Um, it was uh, during the early days of the Mexican-American War, uh, during the occupation at Veracruz Harbor. Might have butchered that. Mm-hmm. Uh, American sailors aboard the USS Arkansas were the subject of desperate reporters looking to fill out mundane stories um, after reporting all day about the fighting. Um, so there was uh, their first article that they wrote in the Washington Times on May 1st, 1914 was uh, the happy hour aboard ship makes U.S. tars, which means which is short for Tar Heels, um, which is a slang for sailors from North Carolina. Um, so they're just like talking about how they were celebrating happy hour um, after a busy day, uh, they would boost the morale with boxing matches, dancing, and drinking. Although liquor was banned from naval vessels starting in 1899, sailors still snuck booze aboard. Just like I did on the cruise I went on. Yeah. I'm just like a sailor from 1899. Wow, exactly. like I've been sailor. saying that forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you said that the moment you met me. This guy looks like a sailor from 1899, and he acts like one, too. <laughs> Oh, man. But by the end of World War II, happy hours were a thing everywhere. Um, Just a relaxing practice that spread throughout the U.S. naval fleets. Um, But on April 25th, 1959, a Saturday Evening Post article popularized happy hour for everybody outside of the Navy. So then everybody started celebrating. Wow. But of course, everyone celebrates. Yeah, everybody celebrates. Uh, Businesses use it as a chance to like have discounted drinks and discounted food to bring people in. Yeah. Yeah. Sonic does it with their their little slushy things. Ooh, yeah. I didn't even think Milk about shakes. that. All right. Dang. 
because so not people, because people stuff. still go to Sonic. So yeah, Sonic's still around. <laughs> but it became huge in the nineteen forties, nineteen forties and fifties, because that's when businesses start, businesses started capitalizing on it and bringing people in. Did Sonic discounts. go to a Sonic and Sonic the movie? Did Sonic go to a Sonic and Sonic the movie? Probably got a chili dog too. If, yeah, yeah, he should have. I don't think he did. I don't think he, he did. Have. No. <laughs> All right, what a wasted opportunity. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'll write a letter. That's true. Sonic two. <laughs> Sonic two. Sonic two. <laughs> Please Electric make Boogaloo. Sonic go to Sonic. Go to Sonic and, and get Sonic a chili, chili dog. Yeah, and pay um, with rings. Yeah. Uh, okay. But so. um, in the 1920s, uh, with alcohol outlaw- outlawed, folks began it started drinking before dinner, um, because then the effects of having a cocktail were less conspicuous, so they wouldn't get in trouble. Uh, yeah. So that's why it was on like, an empty stomach. Right. You're stumbling around. Texting Before your, dinner, texting your they ex. did do it on an empty no, stomach. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> texting your ex. Texting your ex in the 1920s. The telegraph. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You up. What was that? Uh, telegraph like a <laughs> dick pic. <laughs> 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 Send her a picture of my dick. Uh, I think that was Holmes and Watson. The one good joke from that movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't even watch that movie. Yeah, it was very bad. Did you know that Happy Hour is, is banned in 11 states? Really? Yeah. Because they don't want people to have an excuse to get trashed. But they it's sell, banned like, bars and in shit. Alaska, Delaware, Hawaii, Indiana, Maine, Massachusetts, North Carolina, Oklahoma, Rhode Island, Utah, and Vermont. Massachusetts? <sighs> Connecticut. Connecticut. Escape Florida. Florida. Yeah, and the weird. New England awfulness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why? Too many bar fights, I guess. Yeah. Just too many they still have bars. Trashed. I know. I don't. It so doesn't make any sense. You can still buy You can still beer. celebrate it without saying. I, I, guess, I guess, like, you just can't you just advertise it. You don't get half off. That's all it is. It's just, just a way to make more money. I mean, it does kind of encourage binge drinking a yeah, little bit. So. Yeah. Especially between four and six. That's only two hours. But can you still do it with like appetizers and everything? I know. I don't know. Like, I, that's why I'm, I, I'm I showing imagine. up for half price appetizers. No, I agree. I, along yeah. with the booze. Do that at Applebee's. One time we ordered every like the, appetizer the on the late menu. night ones. Better. That's what we did. The yeah. midnight. I think it was like midnight. Yeah. We ordered every appetizer from Applebee's one time. Nice. Me, John, and Cody. This, the, it used we to be a much bigger all, list. when you're too lazy to just w- microwave frozen food in your own apartment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> just went, go to Applebee's there. and they'll microwave frozen food for yeah. you there. <laughs> it was it was good. And it was only like fucking like 50 bucks yeah, <laughs> or whatever. Exactly. It's the best place to do that. Especially if you're drunk, you just go there afterwards. Yeah. That was my go-to. I yeah. mean, it's just, yeah, it's weird. You can still celebrate it. You can celebrate it anywhere. Just say it's happy hour. It's happy hour. I don't know. I haven't celebrated too many happy hours, to be honest, but I'll celebrate today if I can. I mean, I don't celebrate. I guess I get, like, I might get two beer. If <laughs> like, I celebrate, I, I mean, go somewhere. participate. Okay. I've participated. I'm not a big, I'm not a big day drinker. I feel sick if I drink too early. I can do it for, like, I mean, four and six isn't too bad. I don't do it, like, in the morning or around noon or whatever. I don't really drink too much, but I don't know. If it's like that, I'll, I'll do it. A lot of times they'll just be like, what do you have on tap? Happy hour? They're like, oh, happy hours, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, I'll get that. All right, give me that. Yeah. True. You're right, you're right, you're right. They have right, to just right. like promote it a little bit. So yeah, if you can celebrate today. That's how you celebrate. Just drink beer. Drink beer between or four whatever. and six. Get yeah. a discount on it. <laughs> yeah. This is such a weird way to celebrate. It's Half the country can't even do it. <laughs> I know. Sorry, guys. Sucks for you. You can still celebrate. Just, uh, just Publix always has deals on some kind of beer. Or go to a speakeasy <laughs> where they Ooh, can't monitor you. That's true. I don't know if they still follow. I think they do. But <laughs> it's, you know, but treat it like it's the 1920s. Sneak in a flask. Yeah. Drink more. Drink to your heart's content. Or just, yeah, celebrate like those um those seamen. Yeah, celebrate like seamen. Dance, fight. Bo- yeah, box drink. one another. And relax, yeah. Get wasted. <laughs> Act like that scene in Airplane. When they're at the what was it the two or the girl scouts the gr- two girl scouts started yeah. fighting in the bar <laughs> or oh, at the yeah. lighthouse too yeah yeah I don't know why I thought of the lighthouse they just get <laughs> drunk and dance and fight each I other I mean they were seamen yeah exactly kinda. well I don't know if they're considered seamen because they were on land most they're of the time. all lighthouse men <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> light men light men okay <laughs> all right um so yeah so that's how you celebrate should we have a cake today. This is a weird think, day for a cake. I think you can have a cake. After you get drunk and dance and you got to fill stuff. up your stomach with something because otherwise you're going to get hangover. That's true. And I'm sure more sugar would be great for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe they have a half off on cakes. 
Maybe you're getting drunk at the Publix Bakery and Ooh, you can get a cake too. That sounds great. We'll yeah. do it. More like a cupcake. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, cupcakes fine. Yeah. They should do two cupcakes though. Two. Two for the price of one. Two for the price of one. Happy Ooh. hour. Perfect. Happy hour on cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> Happy hour on drinks and cupcakes. Drinks and cupcakes. Okay. Cool. I think that does it. Easy day. Easy day. Happy, easy day to celebrate. Happy, happy hour day. Happy, 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 joy, joy. Happy, happy hour day. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Stay safe if you're in Florida. See ya. See ya. Bye. Seven Lamb Production.